What's going on guys, it's Greg from East Coast Eyes, and today I've got a video that's not quite as fun and a little bit of bad news. I wanted to give you the update of everything we know so far on how the coronavirus is affecting the lacrosse season. So the big news that came out yesterday, Inside Lacrosse Broke It, is that the Ivy League has canceled all spring sports uh, for the entire league. That means every Ivy League school is not going to be competing in lacrosse going forward this season, which is a huge hit because you had Cornell, UPenn, Princeton, um, all these schools, Yale, ranked in the top 25, uh, some even in the top 10. They were having a really great year. Uh, first, I just want to say for all the teams who aren't playing anymore, we really feel for you, all the players who are going to miss the rest of their season, especially the seniors who this was their last chance to play and they're not going to have another chance. It's a really unfortunate circumstance. So the Ivy League is going to discontinue play for the rest of the season. We've also had some teams like Tufts um, and Amherst from the NASCAC and D3 come out and say that the rest of their season is done. And this is just schools, mostly not a lacrosse decision, but a top-down president school decision or even at the total conference level saying we're going to take as many precautions as we can to make sure players don't get sick, try and keep them away from one another, uh, and forego the rest of the season. You've also seen this go across other sports. The NBA is taking uh, a little leave. You're also going to see March Madness. College basketball is not going to have any fans in the stadiums for their tournament, which is unprecedented and I think is going to be really, really weird. Uh, you're going to see MLB take a break. And I think the lacrosse teams and the news right now, today and tomorrow and over the weekend, are really going to be deliberating about what they're going to do with the rest of the seasons. And the bottom line is student safety, player safety comes first, and these schools are being overly cautious. But a couple questions that we still need answered. Um, I think the Ivy League is going to apply for a blanket addition of another year of eligibility for their players. So the question is, will these seniors and all these players they get another year of eligibility because they didn't even make it halfway through this season? That's a decision that the NCAA is going to have to rule on. I think it's going to be a really difficult one. We've also got things like scholarships to consider. Um, and also what the rest of the teams are going to do. You have some schools even down to high school in our area, who are going to take a break from school around spring break. Towson University, for example, uh, is the team going to continue playing? I think you're going to see those decisions come out uh, the end of this week into early next week. So I think games this weekend are very up in the air. Stay tuned to Instagram and your favorite teams for news on that. For example, Ohio State said they were still going to play, but they were going to limit fans to, I think, just family in the stands just to keep people away from the game. So we'll continue to bring you guys the news as it becomes available um, and stay tuned, but it might affect our highlights for this season. So we'll just see how everything rolls out. If you have questions or want to discuss, leave them down in the comments. We'd be happy to answer whatever we know at this time. Make sure to stay tuned, subscribe, and we'll put out as many highlights as we can uh, while we can do them.